and many of the signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book but these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ the son of God and that believing you might have life through his name in the pustakathil eludhiraga வேறு அநேக அற்புதங்களையும் இயேசு தமது சீஷருக்கு முன்பாக செய்தார் இயேசு தேவனுடைய குமாரனாகிய கிறிஸ்து என்று நீங்கள் விசுவாசிக்கும்படியாகவும் விசுவாசித்து அவருடைய நாமத்தினாலே நித்திய ஜீவனை அடையும்படியாகவும் இவைகள் எழுதப்பட்டிருக்கிறது and again you have heard the scripture being read in english as well as in tamil from john chapter 20 words 30 and 31 now jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book that is john the gospel but these are written so that you may come to believe that jesus is the messiah come to believe who and what jesus is the son of god and that through believing you may have <coughs> life eternal in his name this is what so this both the word says the purpose of writing the gospel this is one of the primary gospel given to everyone <coughs> first of all because this deals with Jesus as the word of God or the son of God and as a God the Christ who put on flesh and blood it's a clear understanding so in the last two verses of this chapter that is 30 31 John explains why he wrote this gospel to encourage belief in Jesus as the Christ and as the son of God as the miraculous sign in this gospel point to Jesus as being the Christ and God's son who came to give life to all those who believe most likely John wrote this gospel to encourage those who already believe to continue in their faith we who believe and encourage to read and reread John in order to continue in our belief and this gospel has also been used for beyond that a powerful tool for evangelism bringing people to faith in christ you see to believing who jesus is very important and I, i used to ponder around why see the nation israel now they started calling for their messiah to arrive that means they have rejected the true messia and they are uh, calling crying for the false messia to come so that is the evidence of the end the last days began 2000 more than 2000 years back and we are living at the end days so we need to be very careful now israel has rejected their true messia and the whole world is also rejecting part by part they refuse and reject jesus christ what i see once again beyond and in at a long distance the lake of fire burning fire coal sulfur and everything the lake of fire that is the end result of all those who reject jesus christ that is why god gave his son that is why he forsook him that is why jesus cried my god and my god why has the forsaken as a man he is a son of god he is a son of man he is god man and he did not speak to us as god but as a man he died alone and the fellowship between god and jesus the face of the father was hidden for a while when he became sin for us on the cross that is very important because father saw the souls would be falling into the eternal fire which is the lake of fire 
or the hell fire again i just tell you father he does not want he is full of love mercy compassion and grace and favor so receive his son jesus christ whom he has given willfully to forgive you and take back to him so to understand the life and mission of jesus more fully all we need to do is study the gospels <coughs> john tells us that <coughs> his gospel records only a few of the many events in jesus life on earth but the gospel include everything we need to know to believe that jesus is the christ the son of god through whom we receive eternal life i have seen some of my friends when i tell they critically they reject christ and they question how is he a begotten son and how he can have god can have a son and if god can have a son he should have a wife or he should have a mother and so many questions they are asking not knowing but they are not close to me to talk directly either through social media and that way i have to communicate to them may god reveal to them i earnestly pray for them so that the god may reveal to them as to who jesus christ is or jesus can reveal himself to them because i trust the god whom i serve he is a god who reveal to all those who earnestly seeking with fear so to understand the life and mission uh, or the, the purpose of the scripture you can see from these words many miracles he did many things signs and wonders he did that is not written because if that has to be written the whole world cannot contain that's what apostle says but these whatever has been written briefly is that you may believe as to who jesus christ is believing him as christ the anointed and the ordained one for you and me as a redeemer savior and as the only sacrifice the lamb of god that we may have eternal life not falling into the eternal fire but eternal life not eternal doom why don't you accept this free offer so john tells us that this gospel records only a few of the many events in jesus life on earth but the good news includes everything we need to know to believe that jesus is the messiah the christ the son of god through whom we receive eternal life that's all we need so receive jesus christ and receive eternal life which is yours and also the bible says the moment you believe jesus christ and what he has done for you you have passed from death into life positionally so with this you stay blessed in jesus name amen